Dun dun dun, Uncle L here, and uh, we're going to do an overview of removing the heater hoses. Again, disclaimer, work on this while it's nice and cool. And uh, do not get burned or seriously injured, or better yet, go see a professional. So crucial tools would be this right here. That is fluid line clamp set, a pan to catch your fluids, uh, make sure you recycle your fluids, two bottles of 50-50, you might be able to return one but you might have extra depending on how much you leak out, your towels, and your appropriate tools. Again, make sure the engine's completely cold. And what we did was we clamped off the two major. I bought two kits. So we clamped off both hoses running to the radiator. And check the minor things. Could be a cap. It could be low coolant. Rule out the low stuff first. Watch my other video. So there's a total of three lines. Uh, the lower one runs into the engine block down there. And uh, that comes off the firewall. And uh, that is... Normally this is a 5.8 hose system. That is actually a larger orifice going into the engine block, so you can't run 5.8 hose on that. So that's pretty much a proprietary system. This upper hose right here, be careful. You might, oh yeah, you have to remove the, what do you call it? Air filter system. So this upper hose, be careful runs into the top of there and uh, there's my flush kit you go to Wally's and buy that if you're flushing it out wrap that in with electrical tape and then that plugs up and then you run your clean water hose at low pressure into there so this is the upper hose and it's 90 degrees running into the top one that's a mandatory buy so my problem was it restarted leaking. I had it bypass. Here's the heater control valve. But my buddy didn't cut it straight. So this was hitting right here. And see how jagged that cut is? Oh yeah. Notice not very much fluid comes out because of this tourniquet. And what you want to do is you want to dremel the existing things off. And you want to buy this mandatory hose. This is the 90 degree bend, and you want to buy the bottom one. Uh, this upper hose is 50 bucks. Be careful with it. So don't dremel that off. Try to wiggle that off and uh, save yourself some money. But this is, I believe, $13. It got a weird cut or it, something's up, but that was my problem. I was leaking yesterday, and you had to cut this yourself. So just a tip, when you install, the, take out the bottom hose, you plug it up with your finger right after you pull out the old hose. And uh, since you got a couple extra of these things, I believe a smaller one will fit on that hose. It's just a tight fit. And then that way, when you slide it back on with your clamp, then you just slide it back on. And then that way, it saves the coolant from draining. So this is just the thing, but that is such a pain in the ass. I would dremel off those existing clamps, replace it with those uh, things, and uh, cut the hoses off that. Be careful, because that's copper under those uh, tubings. But that was the simplest way. It, we were trying to use the pliers, slide back the C clamps, and that is just a pain. Let's see if I can get the lower look. Yeah. So that runs into the engine. My old hose was actually softened up by the oil. So it was about to fail. Make sure you have your catch pan down there. And so, again, this hose, I would just cut off. Save your headache. Dremel that out. And then make sure you have some... PCV clippers make that a clean cut 
that's my problem I didn't have a straight cut on there again clamp down your hoses stops pretty much most of the leaks tighten it on pretty good tighten those on work on a cool engine and uh, everything should go back in the breeze but again if you're gonna you might as well just replace that bottom hose and just dremel those things off you can use the I used every kind of plier I had and I couldn't get those clamps off it just makes it goes on the hour but again this hose is usually the upper coming in from this and then so it runs right here goes into there comes into here I believe this is a 5 8 hose so you might be able to bypass it with a normal hose but you do need that 90 degree but be careful with this hose 60 bucks and it's special order usually that bottom one's usually in stock and that has a bigger orifice opening on the engine block to the lower spout and uh, that 90 degree one just cut it save yourself the headache and uh, special thanks to BBD Humper, Humper Hunter and uh, when you're done afterwards every day check that fluid reservoir over there and uh, you might have to run the engine to get all the air bubbles out so hopefully with this clamp system I'm saving a little bit of that and just be safe Uncle L out